What is up everybody, it's Vicious here, and I kind of want to give my thoughts on the DNF Dual Beta. I'm pretty sure I said most of what I wanted to say on the survey test or the survey quizzes or whatever, the questionnaire that they had out. Um, they had two questionnaires out, and I filled both of them out on my channel, and the links to both of them should be um, on both of those videos if you want to check that out. But uh, I just want to talk about DNF Dual and in general how I felt about this second beta. This second beta gave me a lot more confidence in the game, uh, definitely, uh, for several reasons. It was much easier to get into a lobby and set things up, and that made me really happy because the first beta, it seemed like, you know, it didn't work for like a couple of hours, at least properly, and this time it was just completely fine. Um, well, not completely fine. There was a couple of drop matches and there were a couple of like disconnections um, And I don't know if it's because people's internet going out and I don't know if it's because of Like other reasons like maybe the beta is messing up or maybe something's happening on that other person's end because a lot of the times I, kept, I stayed in the room um, I know my friend who has uh, internet that's kind of bad uh, when I played with him uh, he was frozen in a lobby uh, once or twice but, you know, there, there's not a lot I want to say that's bad about the connectivity. Everything seems to have been running pretty well. But I do want to talk about the gameplay. So, they added Ghost Blade, which you see me playing with right now. And the reason why the quality is so good is because this was a, a recorded video and not a stream one. So, yeah, uh, Ghost Blade. I really, really, really like Ghost Blade. The way he's designed is super interesting because it really like most of the characters are designed really well but ghost blade made me feel like he was designed with like extra care you know they knew they had to work the ghost into his gameplay and as you can see right there the ghost does his thing now can a ghost move while you're attacking uh sure in a certain sense on dfo somebody had mentioned this in my comments when i asked their um uh, well my community's opinion on them they said that, you know, they kind of wish they had kept the ability to, you know, while you're comboing, you could send the ghost out. And, yeah, it, it makes sense why you can't actually, um, you know, do that because it'd be too much pressure. Also, you probably waste a lot of meter doing that, maybe. I don't know. There, there's definitely a reason I know that. But, <laughs> yeah, Ghost Blade was super fun regardless. Um, I like how they gave this character a grounded teleport. Um, they didn't give him a DP, but the teleport's so fast, it works for getting underneath enemies when they're jumping. And I think it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, super cool, super solid character. And the whole cast seemed to have received uh, general buffs all around from what I understand. Um, I play with everybody except Crusader. And I gotta say, I still like everybody except Crusader. Um, Crusader and I just will not mesh well. That's just gonna be the end of it. But um, there were videos circulating Twitter um, showing that um, there were certain strings that you could do with some characters when you have a certain amount of life that allow you to break your opponent's guard stamina um, with one string and if you guess wrong then you, you either get hit or you avoid damage or you could just you know not be rewarded for blocking every single thing and um, have your guard broken and in some cases get uh, TOD, which means touch of death. Um, so, the thing is, uh, Inquisitor, when she has you in the corner and she has 200% meter, when she's like low on life, she can get you into the corner and spam her wheel, and she recovers her um, MP the entire time when she's like throwing the wheel at you. And Kunoichi has something similar, but I don't think it's to the same extreme because Kunoichi cannot hit as hard as Inquisitor. Uh, don't quote me on that. Somebody might have a video out there that I just haven't seen yet. And, um, yeah. I think that the solution to that would be one of a couple of things. And I talked about this on Twitter. Somebody, uh, gosh, I forget their name now. But they had suggested that, um, you know, the obvious thing, which I should have thought of it. Inquisitor doesn't recover MP, you know, while she does that move to you. That's kind of what happens with... Um, Kunoichi, she can recover MP while the tornado is on you, and the tornado will, you know, still be attacking you, whether you be blocking 
or you actually got hit by it and it becomes a huge set play move you know you get meter back and you can do it again the immediately afterwards you just gotta wait and you know it, it's it's a real big thing in dnf duel and i think that it could be solved by making it so these characters don't recover life i'm not life mp uh while those attacks are out but also i think another solution would be to buff the guard stamina maybe the guard stamina is too low i noticed that characters like vanguard vanguard is actually specifically made uh, to be able to break your guard stamina because that is his special ability when he awakens. If you notice when I'm fighting Kunoichi, our life should go down here in a second. You see that yellow marking underneath her? That means that uh, she's unlocked her awakening skill, which her awakening skill, I forget what it is, but everybody has one. Um, Ghostblade's awakening skill is to do more damage um, overall. And that's kind of boring, but it's okay. He's a really extravagant character. But Vanguard's ability is to do more guard stamina damage, and he does. He 100% does, but it kind of pales in comparison when he can do that at the end of his life. Whereas Inquisitor and, hell, um, a Berserker can just bust it out on you. You know what I mean? So that that's where I'm coming from with that. So I think that guard stamina could be heightened. Or what they could do is they could make it so you can do an emergency roll. Currently, they have um, a counter assault or a dead angle, I believe what Guilty Gear players call it. Um, and, which is basically when you're blocking and you have a certain amount of meter. And by pressing a certain amount of buttons and pressing forward, you can do a counter assault. Meaning you can attack with some invulnerability. Uh, to knock them off of you. Normally it doesn't do that much damage. And in this game it doesn't do that much damage. And it even leaves you re with a recoverable life. Um, the only problem with it is. You can block it. So it's like what's the what's the real point. Because with somebody like Berserker. You could just as easily. Uh, conversion cancel during most of your combos. So that's kind of like an issue. If you ask me. Um, that you can't really work out with Berserker because you want to keep his individuality. I don't want these characters to be nerfed. I want the defensive options to be buffed so you don't have to worry about it. Um, in the Inquisitor combo uh, that I had seen, the creator, Uri, I believe is how you pronounce the creator's name, um, had stated that you cannot counter assault out of that combo because unfortunately you don't have enough space to do a counter assault that'll like work. Um, so my proposal is maybe add uh, an emergency roll. So when you're blocking, you can use your meter instead of your, um, well, you can use your meter and roll instead of attacking. I think that's a good idea for a game like this. Um, doesn't KOF have an uh, emergency roll? Yeah, I think it'll work good. That way you can roll out of the wheel, have some invulnerability, and maybe when you recover, maybe you're able to block instantly. I think that's something that would be interesting and worth looking into. Um, I think most people are on the same page when it comes to that. Um, another thing would be to increase the movement speed. Uh, they said they increased the walking speed. Now they need to increase the run speed because currently there's only a certain amount of characters that can like run pretty fast. And I think it's like Kunoichi, Striker, and I'm struggling to think if Dragon Knight can actually zoom across the screen. But yeah. So that's what we're working with. But overall, I think the game is interesting. They leave uh, some characters with a great amount of room to improve or to theorycraft, like Kunoichi right here. I still didn't have all of her combos down because I think the combo enders are a bit weird. But Kunoichi is definitely an interesting one because she can move around the screen so fast and do so much in a short amount of time. Like that right there. Look. See, she's recovering her MP while that tornado is attacking. And it's actually nuts because she can be on the opposite side of it and not even have a lot of life taken away from her. Oh, I came up with this combo. Oh, I messed it up. Hopefully I can get it right by the end of this video. But um, I think that's all I wanted to say. I'm very excited for the game. I can't wait for it. I really hope that they send me a review copy because I'd love to get my hands on this game again as soon as possible. And yeah. Um, if I were you guys, I think I pre-ordered the game. There's no pre-order bonuses, but uh, right now it's $50 on Amazon for uh, both versions of the game, PS5 and PS4. So I figured, you know, why not? You know, 
uh, I'm gonna hold out for that review copy, but I will uh, catch you guys later and enjoy the footage. The seeds are trapped on new challenger. Round one.